If all you're interested in is merely the bot, then I can offer you either the MIRC version, which you will have to download and then just configure with your MIRC without adding anything of your own. In case you have no experience how to actually run a Python file, there's different resources like the PyInstaller, which turns the Python file into an exe file, which I can't do because I still have to adjust variables. So you, you will have to do it yourself or you can use an integrated development environment. But I mean, that's just a waste of your computer resources rather than just running the Python script itself or the Python chatbot, which you will have to customize a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean, you will have to change this variable in the main Python file where you just have to change the channel name to the channel you want to invade, which should be your own channel if it's your chatbot or just an OAuth key, uh, well, and an OAuth key for the bot that you're using, which should look something like this. You also have to change these two path variables to whatever you, wherever you save the bot, which is the generic path. And then the path snip is used for an iTunes or Spotify integration where the bot can post, yo, this song is playing right now, or another one is playing or was playing right now. Like, boom, it's just automatically posting the previous song and then the current song that's playing. I used to have more functionality there, which is still in the MIRC version where, where everyone could rate and then it would uh, tell how many people rated and what the, what the average rating was of everyone. But I didn't, I didn't implement it yet in the Python version, mainly because I just wanted to see, get a bit of experience with Python and well, it's also not optimized is what I'm trying to say here. I did try and make it as easy as possible to pick up and change things to your liking. It was a project for me to find out what Python can do and what it can't do. I have documented this fairly well, where here you can change these variables if you feel like it. Like for example, um, there's a cooldown system where you can write, for example, I can write exclamation mark YouTube and then I'm like, okay, I want to do it again. And boom, it's a cooldown on that thing, but it's only on that one command. This is mainly meant to stop abusing the system. I configured the bot to also spam, well, well not spam, to post or quote or fact every few messages, which also has a cooldown. So it's not gonna be annoying if you have too many people. It's mainly just like, oh yeah, what is it, 20 messages I configured and then every 10 minutes or so, it's just gonna post one of these messages. In order to change things quickly, you can take a command, which for example would be exclamation mark YouTube, and then the response of the bot, which is a link to your YouTube channel. So if you, take this, you should probably change these variables to your liking. And then you can also just add some special commands. Like th this is mainly just for a string of words. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> and then the path commands is for special, like when you're trying to read from a file, which I've already um, provided a few, which is also like facts and quote, uh, quotes, which uh, reads from these two files. And then this one is just some random facts that I uh, gathered throughout the years. And then quotes is just some funny lines uh, during stream or just in general. And also recipes, like it's, you can do so much with this. Then there's the giveaway, which I I think I've also integrated in the Python bot. It's definitely in the MIRC version. This is, adding things is very simple here. You just, you seriously just have to do like da 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 link and then da da da, what should it do and boom then you have a new command.
Apart from this, you can also just adjust these variables depending on what you want. Most of these cooldowns are in seconds. So in case you want to change them, here's how you do it. Then I've also implemented a calculator, which fuck for what, why? <laughs> it was much simpler in MRC, so I just kind of, I didn't want to lose the functionality, but this one is just, it, no. Then there's some dice you can roll and then a random line grabber and a file link grabber, which we will need for other methods. Then there's like the standard routines that we'll need, the send message routine, where you just send a message and also print it. You don't need to print it, but I just like to have it here or in a console just so you can see what's happening without having to open the chat itself. Here are the song routines, which I may or may not expand upon with uh, like the rating system, but I don't think I will do it. I'm not really using Twitch anymore, so eh. Then this, like this is gonna be the big one. Just look at this. To quickly go over it, um, I have a blacklisting system, so in case you don't want me to use the bots, the bot commands anymore, just type in me to place into the blacklist txt file and boom, I can't use it anymore. Like here's the scheduled announcer where you either post a fact or a quote. And then down here we have the generalized routine so we can easily add new uh, variables into the channel commands file. And then here we just iterate through all of this to check which command was sent. And depending on what command was sent, we're gonna go and send this command to the schedule routine, which is this method up here. And then boom, we send channel commands. So now this one, this, these two lines are being executed. And then we go back to the beginning because this is an infinite loop. And boom. It's that easy. If you want to, I can make um I can make a series, a tutorial series on it. But this was mainly aimed at people who either just want to use it or who want to use my coach. And I think that's about it. Yeah, like when I wrote this stuff almost a decade ago, I wanted a bot that can post my currently playing music. And it back then was hard to find. Like sure, you could use Nightbot and whatever, but that didn't work with iTunes. So I had to write my own thing, which, I did an MRC and then at some point I was like, oh, I now know how to code properly so I can just take a look at Python and then I didn't. Yeah. Yeah.